Hey, cuz. Oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened to your face? Why, do I have, do I have some mustard or something? No, no, no. When did you get the beard? Oh, the beard? Uh, Christmas. You got a beard for Christmas? <gasps> Thank you! Not exactly like that. Christmas is when I started growing it. Only one of us can have a beard. Well, why is that? Well, the beard is my thing. And like, if you have one, then you're pretty much a copycat. Hmm. Now, even though I didn't do it on purpose, I understand what Cousin Aaron is feeling. Copycats can be kind of annoying. I definitely didn't mean any harm by it. I mean, it just kind of happened one day. I challenge you to a duel then. A duel? Yeah, for the beard, of course. I mean, one of us has got to lose the facial blanket. Well then, I guess I must accept. Okay, each duelist asks a question. His opponent must try to answer it. If the opponent can't answer his or her, or her. Okay, fine. If he can't answer his or her question correctly, the other cousin gets to shave off a chunk of the beard. Sounds great, I'm in. First question. What is the sound made by glaciers and icebergs melting? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's Bergy Seltzer. How could you possibly know that? I know many things, Cousasaurus. Okay, my turn. What is the percentage of water in a cucumber? Uh, and also the percentage of protein in a human fingernail? Well, gee, I'm wrong. 96%. Now, get ready, son, to go back in time. Uh. Voila. Uh. I love you, Mr. Lincoln. George! Yeah, looks like we might want to keep playing. And play until all the facial follicles fall feathery. Good idea. Next question. What is the longest period of time between two twins being born? That's easy, 87 days. Who are you? I'm a man of vast knowledge. Some people call me a ridiculous scholar. I don't know, a pointless genius. Or maybe both. The next question. What was the first moving picture to show a toilet on screen? <laughs> Nobody knows that. I'm afraid you're incorrect about even that. The correct answer is Alfred Hitchcock's horror masterpiece, Psycho. What are you even doing here? I like making the grass whistles. I hang out here until the Uber surge pricing ends. My Tai Chi group just ended. <laughs> They're hilarious. It's Lamb Chops Play Along, and now you're coming along to play along. Wow, I look like I have disco fever. Do you? No. On to the next question. This is for my bottom of the beard or shaving yours down just to a mustache. Worst look ever. No offense, 70s dads. What sports team consists of a worm, a spider, a microwave, and a Buddha? You know I'm not good with the sports questions. Three seconds. Uh, well? Time's up. The 1990 Detroit Pistons. Well. Wait a second, they were national champs. Do I get partial credit for that at least? Not even close, no. No, they were the NBA champions. So what's with the worm and all that stuff? Well, there was Dennis the Worm Rodman and John Spider Sally and uh, Vinny the Microwave uh, Johnson and James Edwards the Buddha, who you surprisingly look a lot like right now. Do I? Not for long though. Oh, 
Oh my heavens. What's the matter? You look like you're gonna try to sell me a car. Can I interest you in a used car? It works for some guys, but I don't think it's my thing. So you wanna lose? Never. Okay. Last question. Oh, I know. How many takes did it take us to film this today? <laughs> One, 127 and a half. How do you know that? Well, I'm here. So, you're gonna return to Adam Normal Faceland, and I'm gonna return to the woods. So let's do this. Okay, let's finish okay. it off. Well, all good things must come to an end. Yeah. So, what did you learn? Since I know that you love to learny learny around here, here. Ah, that's true. Glad you asked. I learned that you don't have to be a copycat. So many different options. One look can turn into so many others so quickly. And what else? Beards are itchy. Yeah, but you can like find food in them later. Like, see what I, oh, like, yeah. Oh, a piece of Slim Jim. Uh, <laughs> lucky. Oh. I know that you love to learn and learn around here, here. I learned that a Slim Jim just fell out of your face. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you may take our lives, but you'll never take our quinoa. I love you, Mr. Lincoln. Mr. Lincoln, I do this for you and your logs. You're a handsome devil, Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> <laughs>